Today, we code some natural language inference by fine tuning a BERT model in TensorFlow 2 with Keras. So, what we want to achieve? Easy. We have a sentence one and we have a sentence two. And that what we want for model to compute is more or less the semantic similarity between these two sentences. And we want to have BERT as our main object, given that we have a TensorFlow 2, this means a Keras implementation. Now, BERT is created by Google, a transformer-based machine learning approach for natural language processing pre-training called a bidirectional encoder representation from transformers. Now, this is very beautiful, but it's also May 2019. So what we have to know about this is here presented. We have some overall pre-training on the left side, and then we have some fine-tuning procedures for BERT. And apart from the output layers, I will show you in a second, the same architecture used in both pre-training and fine-tuning of BERT. And the same model parameters are used to initialize the model for different downstream tasks. And so all parameters are fine-tuned. And let's go just very short to pre-training BERT. You start with an unlabeled sentence A and B pair, so two sentences, and you train for next sentence prediction and you here next sentence prediction and you train for mask language model. And what you do, and I will show you in a second, you have a sentence, you have some special tokens, and you transform each token, it might be a word piece, given that we're operating on a bird model, into an embedding. An embedded vector could have 768 dimensional vector representation. Then you have bird. Bird is more or less, if you want, a stack of uh, yeah, transformer encoders, if you want a very short visual interpretation. And then what we have when we have this pre-training done, and Google is so nice and Hugging Face uh, allows us to download all the pre-trained version, we can have some fine tunes on some labeled data now, like a question answer pair. And we can have a lot of different fine tuning applications. And what we are gonna look now is in our example for semantic similarity. So this means we have two sentences and we wanna have a result that says, hey, those two sentences correlate with a probability of 90% or they are uncorrelated with an equal uh, probability. So let's just jump right into it. We need a runtime. We're here on Google Colab, we need a GPU we need an allocation, we need to install our transformers. We have our NumPy, our Pandas, our TensorFlow, our transformers, our multiprocessing. The configuration is the maximum length of an input to the model is 128, the batch size is eight, and it's just for demonstration purposes. So we have a number of epochs equal to two. Now, you know that in our SNLI notation, we have a classical label uh, notation. You have some contradiction, you have some entailment and neutral. Now, if two sentences contradict each other, it's clear what it means. If you have an entailment, this means that two sentences have some semantic similarity and neutral is undecided more or less. This is it. Now, you can load either the data, and this is an official uh, Keras notebook, and I will leave you the link so you can download this Jupyter notebook for yourself and follow along if you want. As you can see here, I have my version, so I have some modifications, and I will point out these modifications to you. So here we go for the first one. You can either use the official link for a specific GitHub user, but let's say my version is go directly to the source. So the source is, of course, NLP Stanford EDU, our SNLI zip file. So what I do, I download from Stanford originally my zip file, and then I'm gonna look for three files. 
The first one here is our training data file, then we have our test data file, and then we have our validation data files. And as you can see, I just do a panda read CSV file, and our file open is just this uh, typical uh, Stanford uh, OL. And what I do first is I want to know what is the content of my zip file. So what I do is dot info list. And here I get all the files. So what I can ignore straight on, since I'm operating on a Windows machine, I don't need to care about Mac OS. So I look for my files and here we have them. Train, SNR training data set in TXT format, my test data set and my uh, validation data set. And here I have them. So I know now exactly the path to those files. And this is what I do. Here is to open the path here on my panda read CSV file directly from this URL. And I want to use just three columns. I want to have the column with the gold label. This means either entailment, contradiction, or neutral, and sentence one and sentence two. And this is it. Yeah, encoding UTF-8. And since it's a text file, we need a separator that's tab separated. And as you can see, if we have here in the training, I think 500,000 uh, training data sets, I want to restrict it to 100,000 or just for training purposes, let's restrict it to 70,000. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. So let's see, let's activate our cell. Let's see if this is it. Just rename the gold label standard to similarity and we should go on. So what we get is, where are we here? We have a training data sample size from 70,000, a validation sample size of 10,000, and a test sample size of 10,000. So yes, for demonstration purposes, this is enough. Our uh, Panda data frame, train data frame, if you look at the ad, we have sentence one, one, two, three sentences with uh, alterating sentences two where we have neutral contradiction and entailment. We have this for a whole lot of sentences, 70,000. We restrict ourselves. We have now, instead of gold label, we just changed the nomenclature to similarity. Yes, we don't have to do this. Now some pre-processing, we have to clean the data because in some data we have not a number entries in our training data. So let's do some very simple cleaning. You know all of this. I don't have to show you at all. And you can see even that our training data frame, our panda data frame here uh, has contradiction and tame on neutral. And this is a very, very, Nice distribution, but still 70 uh, sequences have a similarity that is not in our set of contradiction and table neutral, so we get rid of them. You see, if this is this, we just say thank you. And then we just do some one hot encoding. You know this. So, no, zero if equal contradiction, else one if it's entailment, and else it is two. So here we go, here we go, here we go. And what we do now is we need some data generator. Now, Keras customized data generator, what are, what we want to achieve, and then I show you how we do it. Oh yeah. Just execute each cell. We are here operating on a tensor algebra. So what we have? encode plus this is a command to return a dictionary of values instead of just a list of values there are many more types of information like the attention mask and the token type ids and everything is returned so we need some specific format if we go to the model itself and this is a jump into the future but just that you know why we do this we want to build a model with BERT and we want to build a TensorFlow and not a PyTorch model. Now a TensorFlow 2 model accept two forms of input and this is given, so no argumentation about this. Either you have all inputs as keyword arguments like in your PyTorch or you have all your inputs in a list, a tuple, a dict in the first positional arguments. 
And if you choose the second option, and we will choose the second option, there are then three possibility how you can feed your data, your tensors, your input tensors, and the first positional argument. So this is it. Either you go very simple model and you have your input IDs. So this is the numerical encoding of your word pieces of BERT. Or you go a list of varying length with one or several input tensor in the order given in the doc string. So have a look at this. You have, let's take this one, your model, and then you have your three parameters, your input IDs, your numerical values of your tokens, the attention mask and the token type IDs. And I'll talk about this three in a second, but just that you understand, we need as an input to our model, input IDs, attention mask and token type IDs. So now we know what we are doing. And now you will not be believe this, but encoding plus is exactly what gives us this ability. Attention mask, yeah, what is an attention mask is simply an array of one or zeros indicating if a token is a padding token and which is not a padding token. Yes, padding token, add special tokens, start and end. These are our CLS and our SAP tokens, the pattern truncate all sentences to constant length. This makes it much easier and expli explicitly different real token from padding tokens with our attention mask. So this is our special token and attention masks. And what we define now is a class of a data generator. And we um, utilize Keras utility sequence. So what we have is very easily our sentence pairs, our labels, you remember our three entailment, uh, contradiction and neutral. We can shuffle it, redefine a batch size, the target are included. And now we start with more or less building the tokenizer. So what we do, we go, we go either to hugging phase or we go to transformers, whatever you have installed. I have imported my transformers. And then you say, hey, let's take the BERT tokenizer from pre-trained and the BERT uh, model we choose is BERT base. And we choose the uncased version. So uh, do lowercase is true, beautiful. Denote the number of of batches per epoch, you define whatever you want. And then we have here this beautiful command. If we have all these input pairs, now we say with our tokenizer comes this magic command tokenizer dot batch underscore encode underscore plus. So we want to have the full version of this. Yes, you have here a look at the definition and all the different parameters. You can play around with this, but believe me, these are the most essential. So you have your sentence pairs. Sentence A, sentence B, sentence one, sentence two, whatever. You transform it to a list. Then you add your special tokens, your CLS token, your separator token, whatever. You have a maximum length. Yes, I know. And you want to have the attention mask. Yes, you want to have the token type IDs. Yes, because we need this as an input to our model then the padding should be on the maximum length and we want to turn the tensor not in the PyTorch format but in a TensorFlow format because we are gonna use the power of Keras TensorFlow 2. This is it. Of course, since we are working in TensorFlow, we have to convert everything to a NumPy array to be fast. So NP array of our input IDs, of our attention mask IDs and token type IDs, everything has to become a NumPy array. And you can shuffle it around. Yes, beautiful. 